Start again. <laughs> right. So as I was saying, this idea where I interview peer professionals, be it angelic healers, shamans, psychic mediums, whomever, about not what they do, but what it's like for them, how it feels for them, how the information flows into them, what is their personal experience when yeah. they are doing their work. Yeah. The idea for this is really to support the people out there who are perhaps in denial as to how potent they are. You know, so many yeah. people out there say to me, oh, Benita, I wish I could do what you do, but I'm not divine like you, or I'm not this, or I'm not that. They are. They're just not understanding their connection. Yeah. Or they don't have the self-assuredness of self-esteem. So I spoke with peer professionals about this, and, you know, so far, everyone has been very supportive of our desire to make it more comfortable for everyone out there to, yeah. to say, oh, but that's, I can, I do that. Or, oh, I can do that. Hi, Milena. Yeah, I see that's the thing. It has to be put into layman terms mm -hmm. where everybody can understand. If this is gonna go global, we have to speak everybody's language, not just the light workers language. So that's why I want, I, I'm hoping to create like memes, like, you know, every session is going to have some kind of meaningful sentence or a paragraph where you can share with people. That's what I want to do. That's my way of contributing to spreading it because more and more people are going to see it. Maybe other people will share it because they might like it and go, oh, I like that. I'm going to share that. I, I love it. They resonate with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, hi, Molina. Hi, sweetheart. Okay. Well, we may as well begin <laughs> with today's session. The librarians are here. They've been with me all day. And that's one reason why Mitzi the Maniac and I were out hiking all morning. I wanted to be in the forest by the river, surrounded by trees and I opened up and got, boy, so many wonderful messages and conversations that I was like, oh, when I get home, I'll share this. And then by the time I got home, it was like gone. <laughs> <laughs> if I were less vain, I would have been sharing it on via cell phone and just like quick live streamed because they were sharing really profound things. But I was like really hot and sweaty and like I didn't look good. So my vanity intervened. <laughs> so, so because you know, because I'm vain, you guys didn't get all the beautiful messages. Sorry. But they'll come back. They'll come back. So here's the thing. The librarians, one conversation we did have, and I've mentioned it with you before, is about how um, arrogance is the great interrupter of frequency, of love, of healthy connection. When anyone feels they're too good for anyone else, then they're disconnecting from the energy grids, grids, from the mandalas, from divine and earth frequencies. And when you are disconnected, then you have to rely solely on yourself because you are denying all the beautiful knowledge and healing and energies that are right here all the time. I mentioned to you all about how when Kim and I were in the graveyard and I was there with all of my equipment, my ghosts equipment, the meter that lets you know if there's any ghosts around and my ghost recording device and my spirit box and, you know, my ghost lights and all this stuff. And I'm like looking at all my equipment. I'm like, dang, we're in a graveyard and there's no ghosts here. And Kim said, well, no, they're not here. They're right up the hill. This is like a classic example of what I'm talking about. Instead of giving myself a few minutes to just like 
flow, connect with the frequencies and invite whatever wishes to connect to come to me with open reception as Kim was doing. I was there like all like disconnected and that was a form of, you know, the arrogance as the librarians speak of it. The other direction of arrogance is when you feel like you're not good enough. So you deny everything that comes to you. I get people calling me all the time saying, Benita, I felt like I received this message and I think it was from, you know, this being or that divine being or this angel or this spirit, but I just don't think I'm worthy enough for this. So I'm denying it. I'm like, really? We have a conversation about how we each go through our lives all day without like random brilliant thoughts coming into our heads and someone saying, and this is a gift from me to you from, you know, Archangel Michael or, you know, Earth Goddess or whomever. And so if, say, Archangel Michael shows up and says, here is a message for you, I am sharing it with you, then go ahead and accept it. To deny it is the other side of arrogance, which is denying reality when it comes to you. The more we open up and accept, the more we say, I'm not too good for all of this, or I'm not too bad for all of this, I am just right. <laughs> then, you know, the more we can go forward open and invite our senses to become more delicate. So we're no longer like uh, metaphysical bulls in a, an etheric china shop but we're actually hearing the soft, subtle voices, seeing the gentle frequencies, you know, opening our awareness. That is where arrogance goes away because there is no sense of good enough, not good enough. There's just connecting with what is and receiving what comes in. And then of course it goes on with conversations and like really learning is this what they're saying? Is that what they're saying? Am I expected to go for, I mean, of course it gets complicated, but the first step, the first step is always put aside self-judgment and open. If everyone in the world did that, then we would have a lot more harmony and a lot less terror. So that was the conversation they were having with me today in the forest, one of them, one of them, as we walked through. And um, I am very happy to share this with you. Okay. I am going to step aside and invite the librarians to come in. You know, this whole last month, the librarians have been talking about uh, what's happening in the world and what is our part with it. If you have any questions about that or anything else, you know, heck, even if, uh, where should I eat in a restaurant tonight or at home, whatever, feel welcome to ask them and they will answer however they see fit. 